You're watching Impulse on the Freedom Network. And now here's Anthony. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I appreciate our audience. Today I want to talk to you about the SteelSeries Serbia V2 headset. This headset's supposed to have it all. All the bells, all the whistles. It's got a pull-out microphone. It's got 50 millimeter drivers so that we can get that nice, deep, rich bass, as well as still be able to reproduce those really nice high tones. So whether you're listening to music, playing games, or doing both at the same time, you'll be able to enjoy your gameplay or your audio sensations, if you will, um, very well, no matter what. This headset is designed to be a closed headset, meaning it goes around your ears and it should not let anything uh, from the outside in unless of course the sound is loud enough to penetrate the the foam of the headset also this headset is rated for long wear and long periods of comfort we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do some testing and we'll see this is the headset very nice boxing um actually since it is such a nice box i'll be right back i'm gonna go unbox this for the geek channel so this is the headset as you can tell there is a, an adjustable strap, much like the new offering from Gomdius, which you may have seen on this channel previously. Um, it's, it's also, it's, it's pretty darn quiet when you move it around, so you don't have to worry about it making a lot of noise, distracting you from your gameplay or other miscellaneous audio file things you do. The microphone does extend from the left ear, like so, and it is uh, able to be positioned in just about any way that you would like. Um, I personally like it right about here. Uh, the microphone, if I had to put it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd put it on about a 4, but that's not... Don't, don't take that the wrong way. It's a, decent, it's a decent microphone for a headset, but it's definitely nowhere near as good as, say, my Blue Yeti. About midway down the cord, you will find a small junction box, which will allow you to mute or unmute your microphone and control your volume here if you'd rather do that than on your console or PC or whatever the case is. The box itself is very easy to the touch. It doesn't really require a lot of knowledge in order to use. Um, it seems to be fairly well put together. Um, I don't really see it to be flimsy. And as far as the cords coming in and out of it on either side, it doesn't seem like it would be an issue if it were used. One interesting thing about this headset is the way that they've handled compatibility. Sometimes you want a long cord, sometimes you really don't. And one of the ways that they've kind of solved this problem is by giving you an extension cord for your, uh, for your using pleasure. Um, and everything is labeled so you'll never accidentally plug your microphone into your headset and your headset into your microphone. Uh, but I, I thought that that was really interesting that midway down the cord it would have something like that. Um, so that if you're using it short range, say in a console, you're perfectly fine. If you're using it long range for a PC or vice versa, again, you're fine and you don't have extra cord just laying around. Now with all that fun stuff out of the way, I do feel the need to point out that this is an analog headset. Which means that rather than having a USB connection, we do have our two connections here for our microphone and our speakers. It's not really that big of a deal to me. However, I know that some people would prefer a USB connection, but at least this way it's going to be able to be used with your consoles. It'll also be able to be used with your other miscellaneous, you know, your PC, anything along those lines. This headset is rated for long periods of wear and comfort. However, I'll be honest, just filming this review, my ears are already starting to get a little bit warm and I'm noticing just a slight bit of discomfort. So I would not place this nearly as high as I did the Gombius headset, but I still think that it is a strong contender. As far as audio quality, I would put it at about an 8.5. It does a really good job of reproducing music and gameplay, so really no complaints there. Overall, if I gave this a number, I would say that it's probably about a 7, 7.5 overall. Um, and most of those points were removed because of the slight discomfort in the ears. If you have any experience with this unit or a unit like it, let us know in the comment section down below if you think I'm wrong or if you think I'm right. Let me know. This headset can go from anywhere between $70 and $120 depending on where and when you buy it. So if you do like this headset, if you're thinking about this headset, I would tell you to wait for a sale. Last but not least, I did want to point out that this is a review unit from SteelSeries. Um, SteelSeries, thank you very much for sending this out. And to everyone watching, just keep in mind, all it took to get this to review 
was a really well worded letter. Thanks so much, that's my time for today. Till next time, I'm Anthony, youtube.com slash Anthony Smith. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about the reason. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment button. Is there a comment button yet? There should be a comment button. <laughs> no, that's stupid. <laughs> um. <laughs>